by ratifying these sham elections, the international community would be invited to become a partner in the violations of the Ugandan and African people. And I am therefore here to ask the international community to have courage and to defend the millions of Ugandans, the youth and the elderly, who have the courage to vote. Let them know that it's not a crime to be a Ugandan or an African. Please reject the temptation to ratify these sham elections. No one who sanctions these elections can credibly profess to be for democracy or for human rights in Africa. I am greatly heartened by the fact that the International Observer Missions of the African Union, the European Union and the Commonwealth have all in their preliminary reports indicated that this exercise has not been free, fair, transparent or credible. I urge you on behalf of the brave citizens of our country, Uganda, to reject the results of these elections as sham and unacceptable. To my brothers and sisters across Africa, I urge you to stand with the people of Uganda and to assert the rights of every African to live in a free and democratic society. It is no longer enough to put in the East African Treaty or the African Union Constitutive Act that coming to power by unconstitutional means is unacceptable while neglecting the more critical and challenging area of people who stay in office using unconstitutional means in violation of their country's constitutions. This must definitely stop. Citizens, my compatriots, I thank and salute your courage and thank you for the support that you gave my candidature, not just this time, but all the time, and for believing in democracy and peace. I especially thank you for this election because you demonstrated unprecedented enthusiasm, generosity in providing whatever we needed to make our campaigns vibrant and effective. I thank you for the vigilance that you demonstrated throughout the campaigns and more especially during the voting period. Special thanks especially go to all members who enthusiastically embraced the power 10 system that brings us together to defend our rights. Our power 10 will remain active until our power is successfully delivered in our hands. This is our country. We cannot allow it to be held captive by a band of people. As you've heard, we reject completely the outcome of these elections. We must continue the struggle. And it will be long, it may be long and hard, but in the end we shall win. We won the election. We shall win the struggle and have the power. So continue 
you are resolved. Remain strong. Remain together. Our power lies in our togetherness. We will not cooperate with the fraudulent regime. And the regime cannot survive without our cooperation. We must denounce this electoral theft by withdrawing our recognition of the regime and ceasing to cooperate with it. We are going to be communicating to those of you who are integrated in our networks about our next moves, which are going to be immediate. Please remain vigilant. You must remain strong and courageous. We must finish this struggle. There can be no turning back. We have already achieved great success. The attempt by the regime and its allies to discourage you must fail. Please stand up for your country. Be strong. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that by the grace of God we shall overcome. Uganda will be free and peaceful and we shall all prosper. Don't forget we are one Uganda one people. I say all this for God and my country.